Okay, so now we can really start writing code for proper. We've got our design. We really have understood what all our functions are. We've thought about the order that our functions flow in. We thought about any extra bits of uh, commands that we need around them. And we've thought about the data that goes into each of our functions and the data that's returned out. So with reference to the flow chart that we've just um, put together, let's think about now writing the code. So remember what our approach is. What we do is we write the functions basically one at a time and kind of test them and make them work, make sure they work. Now, one thing to note when you look at the um, flow chart for this and you look at the data going in and out, two particular bits of data that are flowing around uh, are slightly different from the other data and they are the bonus threshold and the bonus value. Now those don't change in our program, they're not variables as such. We might change them when we redesign the program or we um, do a new version of it, but for our particular instance of running the code, the bonus threshold and the bonus value are going to remain as constants. But obviously we, we need to make them available. And as I said before, we don't want to hard code the numbers actually into the program because at some point a developer or a programmer or somebody else using this might want to change them. So what we do in Python is we, um, or in, in fact in any programming languages, we declare them as a constant. Now Python doesn't have constants as any type of construct, so we have to use a variable for them. But the convention says in Python if we create uh, what we want to be constants but they're variables, we use capital letters. So if you see a variable with capital letters, it usually means it's a constant, i.e. don't change it, because it should be fixed for the run of the, uh, the program. And also, we want to make these available to all of our functions rather than pass them in or out, because there's no point passing them in and out. They're just constants in our program. So we declare them outside of any function. And if they're not inside a function, when we declare them, they become global variables. So they're accessible everywhere. So what we're going to do in our code is we're, we're actually going to start by defining um, bonus. If I could spell bonus, that would help. Bonus threshold. And we know our bonus threshold has got a value 100. And our bonus score. Got a value 10. So just to reiterate again, we've written those in capitals and that's just a convention. It's not enforced by Python. It's a convention that says we want these to be constant. So we're not going to change them. If you, you could do, your program could change them. That would just break convention. It wouldn't break any Python rules. And we've declared them outside of any function. So this has made them global variables. So they're actually available everywhere which is really good now because we don't have to pass them into functions as parameters. They'll just automatically be available. So let's go through our functions one at a time and, and let's kind of write the code for those. So the first function that we've got at the top is a function that is called eligible for bonus. So here's our function eligible for bonus. And if you look on the design, what did this function need? It needed to know the score that a particular person got. So it needs to know the score information. And it needed to know the bonus threshold. Now, just as we've said, we don't need to actually pass that in because we've made that a global variable. So that's pretty straightforward. When we, had our, when we now think about what this function does, now, in our case, it's actually quite simple, so I don't need to write it down. Um, it might be that you need to now do a separate design and think about flow charts and information if it's a bit more complicated. In this particular case, it's pretty straightforward. So to know whether somebody is eligible for a bonus or not, what do we actually do? Well, we're just comparing their score to 100, aren't we? If they got more than the bonus threshold, then they're eligible for bonus. So. The actual comparison that I need to do is if their score, we've passed that in as a parameter, is greater than the 
bonus threshold. And obviously this expression, score greater than bonus threshold, now will either be true or false. If the score is bigger than the bonus threshold, it'll be true. And if the score is less than the bonus threshold, it'll be false. And what do we want our function to do? We want our function to do this test. And we want our function to return whether it's true or false. So what we could do is we could just say the result. Is equal to score greater than bonus threshold and then we could return the result so that would work that's fine but why have we done that why have we stored this true or false value in something called result and then we've returned result we don't really need to do that at all if you think about it we might as well just return the value directly So there's our function. We're just going to return, and it'll be true or false if the score is bigger than bonus threshold, it'll return true, and if it's less than bonus threshold, it'll return false. So we think we've created our first function. And we do need to test that. So we'll just do a def main. We'll set the score up to be 110. And then we'll call our function. And we'll pass in the variable score. Now we're calling a function. We're passing in the variable score. And our function is returning whether this is true or false. Is it true or false? So we could put that into, well, just to test it, we'll put that into our result for now. So the return from the function, which is a boolean value, true or false, is now returned into this variable called result, and we'll just print result. Um, and just so it's clear what I'm actually printing, in case I'm losing track of where I am, I'll print the actual text result and then the value of result. And obviously I've got my main function down here, so I need to call it. Otherwise, nothing will run. So I've written my first function down here. And here I've written a little test routine with a fixed value of 110. I ought to put an assignment statement in there. And I'm just going to run that. There we go. And the result was true. That's what we expect. The score was bigger than 110. Just to test it now the other way, if I do the score to 90 and run that, and I get the result false, which is exactly what I expected. The value is less than uh, 100, it's 90. 90 is not greater than 100, so this is false. So it returns false and it prints false. So what I've done is I've written my first function. I've written a little test routine, and I'm pretty confident that that happened, that that's working fine, which is exactly how we should write code. OK, so next I'll tackle the calculate shortfall function. If we look at that, what that needs, it needs a score and the bonus threshold again. Going in, well, we don't need the bonus threshold because uh, that's a global variable. So I'll do a define for calculate shortfall. Calculate shortfall, and I now know that just needs a score to do its calculation. I'll do a spell calculate a bit, uh, a bit more. I've got a chance of remembering what it means, so calc shortfall. Now, how do we calculate the shortfall? It's obviously the difference between the bonus threshold. So we'll call the variable in here shortfall. And it's the difference between the bonus threshold and the score. So that's the shortfall, and we want a bit of function to return that value so we say return shortfall so let's see if our calc oh, let's see if our def calc 
uh, short fall function works so we've got a score of 90 uh, so the result this time I want to print I want to call the function calc shortfall okay so we've got a score of 90 so we know we're 10 short in this case so this should give us a result of 10 so let's just run that yeah gave me a result of 10 so that seems to work if I had a score of 65 then I'm 35 short so run that yeah that's good if I get a score of 110 run the function and my shortfall is minus 10 which if you think about it is right you're 10 over so you, you don't need that is that an issue no not really because we're not going to we're not going to run this calc shortfall function if the score was over 100 anyway great so that's the calc shortfall function what about the add bonus so def add bonus what did the add bonus thing needed it needed the score again and it needed to know what the bonus value was again that's a global variable so I don't need to worry about that now and the new score is assigned the value of the original score which I've obviously passed in plus the bonus value and I need our function to send back to me the new score okay and we check that that one works so we'll start with the score being 110 I'm going to call add bonus passing in the score and see what result I get oh made an error there see what my error is bonus value not defined I reckon that's got to be a typo somewhere b-o-n-u-s yeah b-u-n b-u-n-u-s bonus bonus value So I've still got an error, still doing something wrong. Bonus value is not defined. So I'm still doing something wrong here. Bon ah, bonus score, it's not bonus. Ah, that's right, I probably should have called it um, bonus value up here. It's, it's up to me really. I'm going to change it up here as my global variable call it the bonus value so it's the bonus value I've not used that um, constant anywhere else so I'm okay on that bit of code here we go so the results 120 yeah it's added the bonus of 10 on there let's just check it with another value 130 on that bit of code I've got the result 140 brilliant so my bonus uh, add bonus functions working so there you go we've got three basic functions uh, already coded and we've been changing our little test routine here from main to test them so I'm pretty confident that they work already so we've just got to continue with the rest of the function okay so our next function is print name and score so def print name and score so my functions called name and score and what does that need well looking again at the design it needs to know what the score is and in this case it needs to know what the name is of the person whose information we want to print so we print something like well done because that's a variable we passed in and then print you scored score and that's it so this one hasn't got a return after it because we don't need to return anything it just does that and prints it uh, obviously it now needs two parameters passed in the score and the name 
and there's nothing coming out of it. So we, when, when we call the function print name and score, we don't return a value. So in this case, we can just call print name and score. And we need to pass into two variables, the score, and we need to pass in the value, um, something into name. So I can create a new variable up here called player one. And I'm going to just call that uh, Fred. So in here I'll pass in player one, which obviously passes in the contents of player one, which is a string Fred. So, um, and obviously there's no point printing result this time because I have no result to print, so I'll just comment uh, that one out with a hash at the front. Okay, so run that one. Ah, print name and score. Gosh, I'm getting bad at my typos here. Print name and score. There we go. Run that one. Excellent. Well done, Fred. You scored 130. Great, so that's our print name and score function done. And the last function we've got to do is print our bonus information. So we'll call it print bonus info. Look what that needed. It needed the score. It needed to know what the shortfall was. And it needed to know whether they got a bonus or not so that was our um, eligible for bonus and what does this one do well this one now depending whether they were eligible for a bonus or not needed to print different information so we need to test that variable first of all if eligible for bonus So if they were eligible for bonus, print well done, you got a bonus, which is all we want to print. We don't need to print the score because their score was their final score, else say print Sorry, you did not get the bonus. Put an exclamation mark, print. And then we need to tell them how short they were. So you missed it by. Now we, this is why we needed this information here. We needed to know this shortfall so we could print it here by shortfall points. And that's it, and again, it doesn't, doesn't return any information, it just gives us that, so this is our bonus information. Um, it actually, we, we did decide it was called print because it's actually printing the information, so I should call it print bonus information. So let's just see if we can do uh, that one. So it's print bonus information information oh no info is what I called it and what do I need to pass it in score 130 uh, what the shortfall was so I'm just going to put a number in here I'm going to say the shortfall was 15 I don't need to actually go and calculate it and whether they were eligible for a bonus so I wanted to presume they weren't so eligible for a bonus at this stage would have been false so print bonus information passing in the score which is 130 saying it was 15 so actually if they weren't eligible for a bonus that would have been something like um, 85 okay so let's run that invalid syntax oh there you go typical Miss me colon, try and do this too quickly. Let's run the module. 
There we go. Sorry, you didn't get the bonus. You missed it by 15 points. So that seems to work. If this was false, if this was true. And we still pass in a shortfall value, even though it'll have nothing. So that's quite important. Even if we don't calculate a shortfall, we're going to have to put something in in this value here for this particular function to work. Um, so we'll put in a value 130 in the score. So just to reiterate that, I'm going to pass in this value 15 because this function is expecting something in the shortfall variable, whether we use it or not. So when we've got a score of 130, if you look at the code, we won't actually calculate a shortfall, but I will have to put something in this variable for this function to work. So let's see what it does now. Well done, you got a bonus. Okay, so those are our functions all written, all tested. We've written some bit of test routine here, so we're pretty sure all of that works as we expect. The last thing we need to do is glue it all together.